Hello dear student, how is it going? Hope everybody is good. You know that we are going through a pandemic situation. As a result, we cannot take part in regular class. So you are welcome to DMRC online English class. This is Firdos Alam, Assistant Professor of English, Dr. Mahaburavan Mulla College, Dhaka. Today I am going to talk about English past paper. That means we are going to talk about English past paper and my topic is orientation of English department. And I will also discuss about mark distribution of English past paper. First of all, I would like to introduce the t-shirts of English department to you. You know that there are two shifts in our college, uh, the day shift and morning shift. There are 17 teachers are working as a English. So first of all, I would like to introduce uh, the teachers of day shift, day shift to you. MD Jakir Hoise, Honorable Vice Principal of Dr. Mahamurwan Mulla Polis. Then Lukman Hussain Shishir, Assistant Professor of English. MD Mominul Ahosan, Assistant Professor of English. MD Abdullah Al Mahu, Assistant Professor of English. This is me, Firdo Salom, Assistant Professor of English and the Head of the Department of English. MD Amin Hussain, Assistant Professor of English. MD Mehdi Hassan, Assistant Professor of English. MD Kutroti Khuda, Assistant Professor of English. MD Firuz Bear, Lecturer in English. MD Ashtaful Anwar, Lecturer in English. MD Salauddin Dawan, Lecturer in English. These are the t-shirts of the day shift of English department. Now I would like to introduce the t-shirts of morning shift to you. First of all, I mentioned the name MD Saiful Islam Talukdar, Honorable Vice Principal of Morning Shift. Then MD Khalil Rahman, Assistant Professor of English. Then MD Ismail Hussain, Assistant Professor of English and the Head of the Department of English Morning Shift. MD Mahmudun Nobi, Lecturer in English. And MD Shami Mahmed, Lecturer in English. MD Robiul Hussain, Lecturer in English. I strongly believe that these t-shirts are very friendly and congenial. They are also supporting and captivating. I think that they have a unique teaching method which impresses you and you will be spell bounded by the teaching method. So uh, I am now going to talk about English first word textbook. You, as you can see the cover page of English first paper textbook, it is a new edition, uh, English for today, class 11 and 12. There are 15 units in this textbook and these uh, units have a 4 or 5 lessons. There are total 57 lessons in English first paper. This uh, lessons are based on uh, reading text and some literary items are also included in this text. So you can collect the book very soon. I hope you have already collected it. Now I will talk about mark distribution of English first paper. There are two parts in English first paper. First part is reading part, it is 60 marks and second part is writing part, it is 40 marks. Reading and writing skills are focused in English first part. We know that there are four types of skills, they are reading, writing, listening, speaking. But these two parts are uh, mainly focused on English first part. Sir Francis Bacon says, Reading make a full man, conference a ready man, and writing an exact man. So we can say that reading make a full man and writing an exact man. These two skills are very important for uh, English past paper. 
now i will uh, show you the mark distribution of reading tape part there is number 1 a and b there is a passage and from this passage you have to answer multiple choice question it carries five marks then you have to answer open ended question it carries 10 marks now in number 2 there is a passage and from this passage you have to answer flow chart or information transfer number 3 you have to uh, read another passage and from reading this passage you have to answer summarizing that means you have to write the summary of the passage there are three sim comprehension from english for today and number 4 close test with close it carries five marks close test without close it carries 10 marks and number 6 reference it carries 10 marks now i will talk about writing part of it total marks is 40 there will be a paragraph it carries 10 marks and there is a completing a story it carries 7 marks and informal letter or email it carries 5 marks analyzing graph chart and map it carries uh, 10 marks and last of all number 11 appreciating short poems or stories uh, that we call theme of the poem it carries 8 marks these are the total 100 marks now i will uh, show you a sample question so that you can get a, a idea about the sample question of english first paper you can see that there is a passage and this passage will be common from english for today and it is sim passage at first you have to read the passage read the following text and answer the question a and b and a choose the correct answer from the alternatives there are five mcq this mcq are mainly based on synonyms and vocabulary that means word meaning so if we have to uh, good common if we have to have a good common over vocabulary if you want to answer this mcq then you have to answer five open ended questions there will be five question then you have to read another sim comprehension from english for today it also carries 10 marks from reading the second passage from reading the second passage you have to answer a flow chart it is a new item for you i think the teacher will help you how to answer flow chart and our dynamic teacher uh, will uh, try to understand you what is flow chart and how to write flow chart and in our next class uh, the teachers of english department take class uh, regularly and step by step then these teachers will uh, discuss how to uh, write different parts of the question then word flow chart word flow chart word uh, information dashboard that is called table and it is very easy and you are known to these topics in ssc level number 3 that is called third passes this passes is also sim passes from reading this passes you have to answer the summarizing of this passes number 4 with close there will be a box and in the box there will be 12 word or 10 words and you have to put these words in the suitable plan it carries 5 marks you have to remember that these words will be changed that means you have to have a good command over inter sense of parts of speech and right form of verbs if you have to answer with close suppose uh, there is a develop in the box but you have to answer uh, you have to write answer development so this technique how to answer uh, with close our teacher will discuss later class number 5 without close it carries 10 marks there are 10 gaps 
10 gaps in this passage and you, at first you have to uh, read the passage then you will uh, put a suitable words to fulfill the meaning of the sentence number 6 it is a rearrange there are 10 sentences are jumbled here and you have to uh, rearrange the following sentence to make a coherent order there are 10 sentences and each sentence uh, if uh, each sentence carries one mark total 10 marks you are also known uh, this topic in ssc level you have to write paragraph it is a very common topic in english every class has a paragraph there is an answering paragraph you have to uh, write the paragraph based on uh, the question of there are five questions then you have to answer a completing sentence it is also a common topic. The following is the beginning of a story. Complete it in your own word. You have to write the story. And how to write a story, our teachers will discuss in later. Number nine, letter or informal email. Suppose you have a friend named Asif living in 571 Green Road, Dhaka. He wants to know what you intend to do after ACC examination. Now write a a letter to your friend telling him what you intended to after the ACC examination and there is an email write an email to one of your friends thanking him for a gift received from him on your birthday so you have to remember that there will be only one letter or email and number 10 it carries 10 marks this is also known to you uh, it is a graph and chart uh, this pie chart below shows time allocation of a student and you have to describe the chart in 150 words and our teacher also uh, talk about how to write a good uh, graph and how to uh, develop the writing part at last number write down the theme of the following poem there Will, you have to write the theme of the poem. There are 12 poems in our textbook and there are some other uh, uh, unseen uh, poem you have to study. And you answer the theme of the flowing words in 50 words uh, and write uh, properly and how to write theme. This topic will also uh, will be discussed later. So, uh, thank you for watching the class. Be conscious, be alert. Allah Hafiz.